Hello all, Terhi here again. Um, I'm playing today with January Hip Kids and I'm scrapbooking a, a picture of my daughter on her skates for the first time. And I'm starting with uh, painting this food veneer hard from main kit. I think it was the main kit or the embellishment kit. Anyway, I'm painting it with 30 notch paint which has a little sheen in it so it will be nice to add this to my pink layout. Uh, I chose to use this um, a little dark pink. It's kind of a raw berry pink I think. Well, any, anyway, it's much darker than, than the papers. I'm going to use the pink papers, but I thought it's nice to have this kind of different shades of the same color. And that's what I'm talking, uh, talking about today. Uh, I thought it would be nicer for you, my dear subscribers, to hear something else than only me to explain my process videos how I do things and how I do that because you have seen so much of my process videos you know how I start and you know and if you don't know <laughs> you can always watch the previous videos so anyway I thought um, to tell you about how I use my kits and how I choose my colors so when I opened my kit uh, this month I thought the color kit will be the uh, main thing, at least on uh, two of my layouts. Uh, one will have a lot of this Haiti Swap golden texture paste, and the other, this one, will have this Simmers Dazzling uh, texture paste, because it's so delicious pink. So this pink was... Um, to, or is this Foxia? Well, anyway... Um, I thought this was be uh, this will be the main thing for one layout, so everything else is based on this texture paste actually. Uh, I thought which photograph would be nice with this texture paste, and I found this nice picture from last weekend with my daughter when she was skating for the first time. So I picked up all the pink papers from uh, the paper kit and added, um, cut it and added them together. Also some white because you don't want to have everything pink here. Uh, and I made a little paper cluster from them. Uh, my photograph uh, includes some black and white and gray and what else? Well, the pink. And uh, that's why I chose them to be uh, in my layout as well. And as the color kit has this nice stencil designed by Kim, Kim Watson, these hearts, uh, I also thought the photograph has to be something to add heart with. So, so that's why uh, it's my daughter, because I love my daughter and love is like heart. So uh, that's why I chose these things to my layout. Um, and as I'm designing the layout, I thought it would need something uh, vertical to kind of add all things together. Because as you see, there is dark pink, there is kind of fuchsia pink, and there is white, and on the pa background there is uh, almost uh, uh, lilac, how do you say it, violet uh, pan pastel and some rose pan pastel. So there are lots of uh, pink and red shades and they need to be somehow together. And for me it's important to uh, see all these colors together uh, smoothly. I don't want to see any any pops of red there and pops of green there because it's important to have a smooth layout to watch. So that's why I'm adding this uh, vertical uh, thread or string um, on top of these paper layers to watch to show you it 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 really matters that that is there. <laughs> 
Oh, it would be so much easier right now if you could see me because I'm talking with my hands right now. But I hope you understand that. And if you don't understand, please leave a comment and I will explain it to you much better. So back to this layout. Um, as you see on the background, we have this dark pink, this fuchsia pink with this uh, texture paste. And on top of the photograph, we have some lighter pink things. So I thought how to um, kind of match them together. So that's why I'm adding these little, little stickers saying I love you and always together and some hearts from great paper saying same things XO XO and I love you and and things like that so take a little cover the stenciled things the hearts and the words and that's how it will go better together and these little hearts I'm adding right now are are also making this uh, fuchsia uh, texture paste to look more lighter. And to add some contrast, I added these hearts with a little black uh, around them. And the last um, phase to do is add some mists. But I'm not adding much. I'm covering the picture first. And then I'm adding some. This is a uh, raspberry pink, and I'm adding just some to move that uh, darker pink on top of the paper layers. As well, I'm um, adding this lighter pink mist uh, to the background to kind of uh, spread the lighter pink on the background. Did I explain it? good or bad. <laughs> I hope you understood something. Well, here it is and it was fun and I really hope you got some something from my quite bad explanation. But thank you for watching and thank you for listening and please leave a comment if you have anything to ask or send me an email or anything and have a great day. Bye!